We are gathered together in the midst of family and friends to celebrate the love Veronica and Gabriel have for each other and to recognize and witness their decision to journey forward in their lives as marriage partners. Others would ask at this time, who gives the bride in marriage? But I ask simply if she comes on her own will and if she has her family's blessings. With whom does Veronica come and whose blessings accompany her? She comes with her mother, her brother, and is accompanied by all her family's blessings. <laughs> Family and friends, please know that Gabriel and Veronica are pleased and honored that you've responded to their invitation to share these happy moments with them and are excited to endeavor into this new union together with the love and support of you, their family and friends. Before Gabriel and Veronica declare their love one to another, they would like to first acknowledge their love for the women who brought them into this world. We have the roses. We have. Now before we continue, please observe now a moment of silence as we remember those who have passed from this earth, but who nevertheless are certainly here with us this evening. Veronica's father, John Natick, grandfather, Michael Natick, and Rodney Allen, and Gabe's grandparents, Mary Ann Barnes, and Ruth and Norman Larson. And now we have our first reading to set the mood for the evening. I got this. Tommy is someone who has locks that fit our keys and keys to fit our locks. When we feel safe enough to open the locks, our truest self step out and we can be completely and honestly who we are. We may be loved for who we are and not for who we're pretending to be. Each unveils the best part of the other. No matter what else goes wrong with us, around us, with that one person, we're safe in our own paradise. Our soulmate is someone who shares our deepest longings and our sense of direction. When we're two balloons and together our direction is up, chances are we found the right person. Okay. <laughs> our soulmate is someone who makes life come to life. Gabriel, Veronica, in a few moments you will publicly declare your love one to another and just minutes after that you will be <laughs> husband and wife. From this day forward, this date, November 18 will always have a very special meaning to each of you as the day that you publicly vowed to love and cherish each other in all ways for all time. And so each year when you come upon this day, I challenge you to rededicate yourselves to the promises and vows you're about to make this evening. Take stock of where you are in your marriage, how you're doing as marriage partners. Remember to celebrate abundantly the successes and joys that life brings your way. And remember, too, to forgive yourselves and each other for any judgments that may, become, may come between you. Let your love lead the way and be more important than anything else. Do that, and I promise you, your lives will be filled with blessings and joy. And now, before you publicly declare your love, we're going to have uh, Gabriel's sister, Hannah, read from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Love is patient, love is kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own ways. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. So faith, hope, and love abide. But the greatest of these is love. 
Gabriel and Veronica have written their own vows. At this time, Gabriel will state his vows to Veronica. Let's see if we can make it through. <laughs> Veronica, these last eight years with you have been the best years of my life. You are, you are my partner, my lover, and my best friend. I cannot imagine life without you. You give me a sense of direction and purpose and make me a better man. I promise to shower you with love every night and bring you coffee every morning because <laughs> let's face it, we're both addicted. Uh, I promise to support you and love you in everything you do, to be honest, loyal, and devoted to you until long after my dying breath. I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you on this adventure together. Veronica? <laughs> Here. <laughs> my dearest Gabe, I feel like everything in my life has led me to you. My choices, my heartbreaks, my regrets, everything. And when we're together, my past seems worth it, because if I had done just one thing differently, I might never have met you. You are so very special to me. I know I will never meet anyone I can trust as much as I trust you. Gabriel, you are my best friend. I love you unconditionally and without hesitation. I vow to love you, encourage you, trust you, and respect you. As a family, we will create a home filled with learning, laughter, and compassion. I promise to work with you to foster and cherish a relationship of equality, knowing that together we will build a life far better than either of us could have managed alone. I promise to support your dreams and to respect our differences and to love you and be by your side through all the days and nights of our lives. Gabriel, take heed of the question I now ask you. Do you, Gabriel, take Veronica to be your partner for life? Do you promise to walk by her side forever and to love, help, and encourage her in all she does? Do you promise to take time to talk with her, to listen to her, to care for her? Will you share her laughter and her tears as her partner, lover, and best friend? Do you take her as your lawfully wedded wife now and forevermore. I do. Veronica, do you take Gabriel to be your partner for life? Do you promise to walk by his side forever, to love, help, and encourage him in all he does? Do you promise to take time to talk with him, to listen to him, and to care for him? Will you share his laughter and his tears as his partner, lover, and best friend? Do you Take him as your lawfully wedded husband for now and forevermore. I do. May I have the rings, please? There's great symbolism in these rings you're about to slip on each other's fingers. First of all, they're made of precious metal. Just as the love you share one to another is so very precious to each of you. Also, these rings, like most rings, have the shape of a circle. And what is unique about a circle is that it has no end. So you see, these rings you're about to place on each other's fingers represent the very hopes and dreams of your family and friends witnessing this union. That indeed, this union taking place before their eyes will be just like these rings without an end. <laughs> With that understanding, take the ring intended for Veronica, place it on her finger, and repeat after me. Veronica, I give you this ring. Veronica, I give you this ring. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. And with all that is within me. And with all that is within me. I pledge. I pledge. That like this ring. That like this ring. My love for you. My love for you. Will have no end. Will have no end. Take the ring intended for Gabe, place it on his finger, and repeat after me. Gabriel, I give you this ring. Gabriel, I give you this ring as a token of my love, 
as a token of my love and with all that is within me and that all that is within me I pledge I pledge that like this ring that like this ring my love for you my love for you will have no end will have no end and now Veronica's cousin Sarah Ann will read to us love is a temporary madness love is a temporary madness it erupts like volcanoes and then subsides. And when it subsides, okay. you have to make a decision. We'll a you have to work out whether your roots have so entwined together that it is inconceivable that you should ever part. Because this is what love is. Love is not breathlessness. It is not excitement. It is not the promulgation of eternal passion. That is just what being in love, which any fool can do. Love itself is what is left over when being love has burned away. And this is both an art and a fortunate accident. Those that truly love have roots that grow towards each other underground. And when all the pretty blossoms have fallen from their branches, they find that they are one tree and not two. Gabriel and Veronica have chosen to conclude their ceremony with a traditional hand fasting. This is a symbolic binding of the hands that inspired the terms bonds of matrimony and to tie the knot. Throughout history, in many different ways, in many different parts of the world, the hands of the bride and groom were bound as a sign of their commitment to one another. The cords are not permanent, but perishable as a reminder that all things of the material eventually return to the earth. All right. Mm -hmm. I think God's trying to tell us. Yeah. <laughs> Ignore him. <Yeah. laughs> okay. Gabe and Veronica, I bid you to look into each other's eyes. Will you honor and respect one another and seek to never break that honor? We do. We will. Yeah. All right. Will you share each other's pain and seek to ease it? We will. Will you share in the dreams of each and dream together to create new realities and hopes? We will. Will you share each other's laughter and look for the brightness in life and the positive in each other? We will. All right. So, yeah, you got that. I got it. <laughs> oh no. It's all right. It's all right. You're gonna untie it in a second. Yeah. yeah. All right. <clears throat> Veronica and Gabriel, as your hands are bound together now, <laughs> so your lives and spirits are joined in a union of love and trust. Above you are the stars, and below you is the earth. Like the stars, your love should be a constant source of light, and like the earth, a firm foundation from which to grow. Please bow your heads for the prayer of blessing. O oh God of love and faithfulness, Gabriel and Veronica have just committed themselves to undertake one of the most solemn and sacred obligations known to humankind, to become a family. We who have witnessed and participated in this ceremony are conscious of their need for your grace and help as they seek honorably and lovingly to fulfill the commitments they've made here this afternoon. Grant to them, we pray, the qualities of kindness, mercy, honesty, openness, and love in their relationship with each other and with all others. May your grace, mercy, and peace be a part of their lives from this moment forward. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, we pray it. Amen. 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 I am now about to pronounce Gabriel and Veronica united in marriage. Will the matron of honor and the best man please unbind them? <laughs> okay. Oh, no. oh, God. No <laughs> there it goes. Oh, with that. The wire got shoved into it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
Mm. How we got doing? Mm -hmm. I can't squeeze my hand. You're going to have to remember that. And now for as much as each of you, Gabriel and Veronica, have come together before your family and friends and pledged your love one to another as signified by the exchange of rings and the exchange of vows, it is now my privilege and honor to pronounce you united in marriage. You may seal your union with a kiss. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce to you now for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. Gabriel Larson and Mrs. Veronica Nadia. <laughs> we made it.